that down. Whoa, whoa, back away from me, man. Put that down. What are you doing? Let's go. Back Madden away. Courthouse. Back away. I'm going to ask you to nicely to please shut this off and then read the sign and then determine how you want to proceed. This is criminal contempt. Yeah. To continue and. You know, I don't want to see that happen. You don't have law. You don't have arrest the capabilities. You're a security well, I'm guard. I'm with this gentleman. All the signs and right. to read it. Yeah, but these aren't the law. These aren't the law, though. I'm openly defying that sign because I believe it to be unconstitutional. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Auto here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Traffic Violations Bureau here in Hop Hog, New York, right here on Long Island. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we just passed through the metal detector, which is over here to our right. Let's take a look around. Some public notices over here. Distracted driving. Hey, whoa, whoa, back away from me, man. What are you doing? Let's go. Back Madden away. Courthouse. Back away. Come this on. is not. A, I'm not in a. I'm not in a courtroom. I'm not in a courtroom. Who are you? Why are you coming up behind me like that? What's wrong with this guy? Wow. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you coming up on me like that, man? Well, I'm not in any courtroom or I'm not in a courtroom or anything. I'm not in a restricted area. This is a public area. I'm just asking you not to film. But this is a public area. I'm not. Yes, I'm in a public area. This is a public area. There's no filming in the area. Let's go. Yeah, there's no reason for you to get. Listen, are you security guard or law enforcement? Are you security guard or law enforcement, sir? Can I get your name? Badge number one one seven. Hey, how you doing? Are you a supervisor here? Yes. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm a journalist. Sure, come on over this way. I'm going to show you the sign. Yeah, well, let me see the sign. Sure, no problem. So you probably, I'm going to ask you to nicely to please shut this off and then read the sign and then determine how you want to proceed. So what rules of the chief judge? Are you law enforcement? Step back. Yeah, I so mean, there's I, no reason so, for five, so five security please guards. read the sign and then stop recording. Are you law enforcement, sir? Yes. You're law enforcement? I'm going to ask you to read the sign. Are you public safety? And I'm going to ask you to read the sign. And Rules sign of the record. chief judge. Electronic recording and audiovisual coverage in court facilities, court proceedings. Yeah, of court proceedings. Whether or not the court is in session is written. Where is the actual order? This is just the sign. Where is, like, an order from the that judge? Is the order. From the chief judge right there. Yeah. The chief judge of where? So, so once again, you're in a courthouse. Yeah. You've read the sign. You've seen no video, no photographers, no recording. What's the law, you've written, though? You've written it. And maybe you might want to take a look at this because this is criminal contempt. Yeah. To continue, and you know I don't want to see that happen. You don't have law. You don't have arrest the capabilities. You're a security um, no, guard. if I do or don't, I can call a, uh, a police officer and a deputy sheriff if you, if you like me to. What can I do to assist you? I mean, you, you could definitely call law enforcement. I, w I would love for you to call law okay. enforcement because I would like for you to get educated. This is not a law. I these are that. these are policies, sir. Can I get your name? Sure, Captain Wright. Captain Wright. Ray. Captain Ray. Yes. Yeah, these are policies, and okay. this this officer here tried to come come at me from behind and put his hands on me. Oh, he tried to put his hands on you. Yeah, he tried. I had to back up and, and put my hand to block so, him. So anyway. How can security I help officers today? and public so safety how can I help you security officers and public safety like yourself are here to observe and report sir they're not here to put you're not here to put your hands on anybody man that's not that's so, not okay so what can I do to help you today that's not okay your 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 public so what safety can I do to help you today? I'm not a, I'm not a danger of the public safety stuff. yes I am recording so I'm a journalist I have a first okay. amendment right to record yes, in publicly yes, accessible no. areas okay, I'm gathering here, content the signs are very clear. I'm not in a court room. Do you have business here today? Sir? I'm not in a court room. Yes, I do. Well, it says if you actually read the sign, office or hallway. Yeah. So I'm going to ask So where's you, the courtroom? So I'm going to ask you Where's the courtroom? Is this the hallway of so a courtroom? Nice. So you've read the signs. But if you want to get technical with the signs. Law enforcement officer, here he is. Maybe he can help you. How you doing, sir? Uh, you law enforcement officer? Yes, I am. Suffolk County uh, Deputy Sheriff? Yes. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Anthony Atlas, 579. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, no. Yeah, I'm just a First Amendment 
you know, yeah, yeah. I'm a First Amendment advocate. I'm a journalist. I'm not in this is there's no okay. courtrooms around here where I'm at. These are publicly accessible areas. I'm just working on a story, gathering content for a story, okay. peacefully, I'm not bothering anybody, and they're they're making a big deal about it. What are you, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm I'm just I'm trying to accomplish exercising my rights without having being told to stop. That's what that's really what I'm trying to accomplish. Am I talking about me out here real quick? I mean, I'd be happy to talk with you. Can you I, all you want? I mean, we could, yeah, we could talk, but I, I don't want to talk out there unless you're going to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just recording all the signage here okay. and all the public documents that are inside. Okay. Yeah, so I'm an independent journalist, like I told you. I'm just working on a story on the. I'm not Which anywhere near. It's it's a story on the the traffic violations bureau, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near any courtrooms. Nowhere near courtroom. No, yeah, or not yeah, even in them. I, this is, I, I showed, the, I showed I, this I gentleman all yeah. the signs and asked him right. to read it. Yeah, but these aren't the law. These aren't the law, though. These aren't the law, sir. These are signs. These are policies. These policies of what the building is asking you about. Yeah, so. they're policies. I have a right. This is a public building. I have the right to right. be in this public building. And just because exactly. I'm recording shouldn't restrict my access to the public building. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not interrupting any courtrooms. I'm not doing anything of that nature. I'm not causing a disturbance. If anything, that security guard over there, while I was filming these signs over here, he tried to run up on me and grab me from behind. And I had to, like, put my hand out to stop him. Who's this? The, the guy right behind you, right by the computer screen over there. It was uncalled for. I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. I'm not trying to break the law. No, I'm not I'm breaking the law. Are. I'm just saying. I'm not breaking the law. They have to sign up here for a reason. I understand. That's... It's a policy. But they also, sir, yeah. deputy, they also had signs once upon a time that said people of a certain skin color couldn't come into an establishment, correct? Right. Did the, would, were those signs acceptable? Okay. Just because it's on a I, sign. Can we talk over here? So I, I'd rather... Over here? I, I, I'll get out the way. We can come over we'll come here. Over here. Just follow me over here. I, I, we can come over here. All right. You want, all right. Okay. So what are you trying to do? Do we sign just record in... I'm just recording in publicly accessible areas. That's all okay. I'm doing. And all if right. you if you, if you you are going to violate my rights in any way, you let me know that and I'll take it up with the proper... I'll take it up with the proper venue. If you're going to arrest me for any reason, I, I, was I, I would hope not. I'm not breaking the law. <laughs> That's what I'm just trying to talk to you, but I'd rather talk to you over there. All right, but I, I don't want to go over there, so I want to stay right. where I'm at. I would, I, this is a public building. I'd rather stay where I'm at, sir. Excuse me. Right. I'm not so running away from you. Who do you work for? I'm independent. I work for myself, sir. Independent. You work for yourself. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. You can. I've had a bunch of, you know, I, I've, I've gone through this before with, you know, Suffolk County Police Department. You can call and check with them, even your own agency, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they know who I am. They know I'm an independent journalist. They know I'm not here with any nefarious... I'm not here with any nefarious purposes or anything. I'm just here to document all the signs in the publicly accessible areas. I don't want to go near courtrooms I or... I but the signs are clearly saying no video, no photographs, no recordings. I understand so, the signs. I don't get what you're trying to do. But they're not law. That's my whole purpose. The, the, so, I don't have any weapons. I obviously cleared through the metal detector, okay. right? Yeah. So I'm not a threat to anybody. I don't understand okay. what's the big deal about a camera. I get what you're saying, the signs. Yeah. But there could be, like I told you, there could be si any sign. You could put up a sign anywhere. I could put up a sign, and what does that mean? What what law? You are law enforcement. Well, what are you trying to accomplish by I told you, this whole building? I told you, I'm working on a story on this building. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. What's the story? About? I'm gathering public information on the Traffic Violations Bureau. Okay. Well, clearly, you're not allowed to record here. It's based on the signs. I know you're saying it's not the law. Yeah. Are we have a, you took an oath to the United States right. Constitution to uphold the Constitution. Right. Did you, sir? Yeah, I did. I know you did. So, <laughs> okay, so the First Amendment of the United States is we have freedom of press. Mm -hmm. So, if anywhere that a, a regular citizen can go, I can go. I'm just, I'm not in a courtroom. Judges have control over the courtroom, and so this is where you pay your tickets. This is, this is nowhere near a courtroom. Yeah, this is not a court, this is not a courthouse building. This is the Denison building. This is controlled by the county. I don't need their permission, though. That, my, my thing is, is that I don't need their, I get, I, I see what you're saying, but I don't need their permission. That's the whole point, really, to be honest. I'm not in any room. I'm not breaking any laws. I, I don't want to cause a disturbance. I'm not going to. I don't know what else there is to really talk about. That's that's not my goal here. Do you have a supervisor I can speak to, maybe? Or I don't have a supervisor here. No, I don't. Can you call a supervisor? Are you stationed here in this building? For the day, I am. That's about it. Oh, okay. Can you call a supervisor? You got, a you got to speak with PD about that. They run it. They run what? They 
run this building. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not PD. I'm not local police department. All right, so, I mean, if, why, then what, what are we talking for? I just, you, I, I, I want to talk to somebody. I'm to come over here. You're not allowed to record in here. That's I mean, here. I'm not breaking the law. You said it yourself. That. I'm not saying you broke the law. <laughs> I'm not saying you broke the law. I'm not saying you did anything. So I guess I'm just going to go about my business then. I'm not breaking the law. TPVA, 9 a.m. morning calendar is here. You guys are always recording us, right? <laughs> You guys are always recording the people. Look at the camera right above you, man. Captain, excuse me. There's a, there's a camera everywhere, right? It's a big deal. You go to Walmart, there's a camera. There's always a camera going to be everywhere you go. Can you read the signs? Uh, Thank you. I see your signs. I see them. But there also was signs at one, once upon a time that said that, you know, people of a certain skin about, color. I don't, I don't go about once upon a time. I go about the present. And well, this is and, and the present is, is that I'm openly defying that sign because I believe it to be unconstitutional. You like. Okay. So this is the uh, metal detector that we came through when we first walked in over here. So they know we don't have any weapons. Not a threat to anyone. Ridiculous. The way they escalated like that. The way this man escalated the situation was horrendous. I'm glad I turned around because he was reaching to grab me, that's for sure. I get real bad tyrant vibes off this guy. So this is the clerk's office over here. The cashier's office where you pay your fines. What is it that they don't want us to know here? Let's hope he's talking to somebody who respects their oath that they took to uphold the United States Constitution. Unconstitutional signs here. Hey, Deputy, did we get any clarification, sir? Uh, yeah, you can go just obviously not in the courtroom, so... Okay. As you do you, as long as you're not causing disturbance, it's fine by me. Okay, perfect. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that no, we had no, some... No, you're not bothering anybody. We had some clarification. Exactly, okay, thank you. I gave you my name and shield, no problem. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. My name is Sean, by the way. Sean. Yeah. To me, obviously. So. Okay. You know, as long as you cause a disturbance, you're in a courtroom, something like that. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank no, you so much. It. And if you could just let them know, because they were they were trying to escalate the situation, yeah, the public I, I, safety just, here. Just talk to me. No, I I, I don't want to talk. No, to them. I'm saying you you can let them I, know so we can deescalate a little bit. Thank you. Maybe once a week, but I'm not. I'm not really here full time. Okay, I got you. I okay, care. deputy. Thank you, deputy. No, no, I appreciate problem, it. Dude, Thank right? you. Just Stay safe, okay? You have a good one. Thank you. All right, so our rights and the Constitution gets a win here today. I think it's due to all of our hard work here on Long Island, where we have educated the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, all throughout Long Island here. There are many videos and many stories that we've done, and this captain does not look happy whatsoever. But we have a win for the Constitution, and for we the people. It's a beautiful thing. There's not a lot of places to go in here, so again, the clerk's office is closed, so we can't go in there. We already looked at all these signs over here. So we're not going to spend too much more time here. I'm not here to waste time or, you know, to stand around not doing anything. I have better things to do as well, but just when you come up behind me, trying to grab me, you know, when you tell me that I'm going to be arrested for simply and peacefully exercising my constitutional rights, that's when we're going to have an issue. And that's when I'm going to push back on the captain here on the security officers here. 
you know, can't do that. Hey, Captain, quick question for you. Um, do you know where I can, where do I go to file a complaint against one of your officers? Um, and how would I get his name? Like, is there a complaint form? There's no complaint form. What you can do is you can definitely put it in writing, uh, write your letter, um, and you could send it to the agency and you could address it to the executive director of TPVA. TPVA? Yeah, Traffic Parking Violations Agency. Okay, so you guys are public safety for specifically the TPVA? Correct. Okay, so I, I would go through them. Okay. Sure, if you want to, you, you can send a letter in. Okay, thank you. And, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll get his name. Do you, do you happen to know his name? Who is it? The, the older gentleman that was stationed over here. I mean, if, if you don't know it. Badge. Okay. Once, what was the badge number? Oh, I have the badge number on. Okay. I have the badge number. Yeah, that's good. I'll you figure it out. print out a picture. Or, I'm sure you're pretty yeah, good Sure, sure. I, I, I got the badge number. I'll do a FOIA request for sure, the, for the information. Thank you. Appreciate it, Captain. Anyways, guys, we're going to be getting out of here soon. You guys take care now. Have Have a, day. You too. Yeah, you too. No firearms, obviously. Thanks, Deputy. You have a good day, okay? You too. All right, guys. So we're just getting out of the Traffic Violations Bureau in Hop Hog, New York, right here on Long Island. Wow. So that has to be one of the fastest escalated situations I've ever been a part of. I can't remember in any other of my previous audits that escalating so quickly like it did inside of this building. As soon as I passed through the metal detector, started recording in the publicly accessible areas of this public building... The security guards made some furtive movements trying to come up to me from behind and what I would assume is to grab my camera or grab me in a, an attempt to stop me from recording which is their policy. Um, as soon as I turned around and he saw that he was on camera he stopped what he was doing put my hand out to you know what are you doing and uh, he didn't move any further but definitely could have gone south really quick. There was about seven security officers I believe I counted at least five maybe seven in total that were there. The captain did say, hey, you know, there's no need for all of you guys to just be standing around the situation. But the captain also was ignorant of, our, of the law and our rights. He tried to tell us that there was no recording because it was the judge's rule. The judge's rule applied to the vestibule outside of the hearing room and the courtroom. I was in a publicly accessible hallway far from any courtroom. And judges' rules are not technically law. They're just orders from the judge. And then he also showed me, and you could also be arrested for criminal contempt. That is also a charge by a judge. You have to be careful if you're doing courthouses, even though this is technically not even a courthouse. Right here, the whole building you're seeing here is the Denison Building. It's a Suffolk County building. Um, this is just a little part of that bigger building for traffic violations. But, you know, you have to be careful with judges. Judges have unchecked power in this country. You know, you violate a judge and they throw you in jail for contempt. Another judge is going to see or that same judge is going to see if it was constitutional or not. So good luck with that. But we still are going to exercise our rights no matter what type of policy they have. You know, no photos or videos. You know, we stood up to them. We stood up to the captain. He called law enforcement. The deputy came. Here on Long Island, we have two types of law enforcement. We have the sheriffs and the police department, some of the highest paid law enforcement in the country. And for the most part, he did a good job. He tried to get me out of the building, uh, which I refused. And, you know, he didn't escalate the situation. He just wanted to know what I was doing there. And I told him and he did call one of his supervisors who luckily knew the law, knew our rights and knew I wasn't breaking the law. So... All's, all's well that ends well, excuse me. But yeah, they got their education here today, free education, courtesy of We the People. And the Constitution, We the People won. So I really appreciate all your support. As always, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Stay safe, God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.